Hello. I'm going to do things a little differently today. Normally when I do the workouts, the fitness center I use is empty. That's just me. Uh, but today there's someone else working out, so I'm going to be over here as far away from the television as possible and do our normal routine. So, <clears throat> what's been going on the last couple days? I've been working on the apartment, getting that cleaned up. Um, came up with some great ideas for my new script, and that I'm excited about. I'm gonna get that working um, today, hopefully more. Realize how much more intimidating and overwhelming and how much more effort's gonna have to go into um, <laughs> cleaning the apartment because it hasn't had a good cleaning in a while. So that's gonna take a little more time than I originally expected, but that's okay. If I sound a little different, it's because I'm on a bike today. Um, not the treadmill. Treadmills are in a different area of the fitness center, so. But I've been listening to a lot of news, well, more than I wanted to uh, in the last couple of days. Yesterday I was hearing them uh, talking with um, I was hearing them talk about things with Trump and Hillary and um, just the blatant abuse of power that she uses and gets away with and all the ridiculous assumptions that she will ever be charged for her crimes. <laughs> Someone used the term that she didn't lie, it was a misstatement. She said something wrong, but she didn't mean to say something wrong. Which I think is ridiculous, but that's just the way it is. Um, so what else is going on? Thinking about I was looking at um, a post yesterday for uh, an acting self-marketing class, and it kind of got a fire under me to really further evolve the studio, because this is a one-day class for a hundred dollars, and it's called How to Promote Yourself on, you know, self-promote yourself, self-market yourself, but I don't know really this person is a real um, skilled person at showing you how to market yourself anyway. I mean, if you've never heard of her, then she's obviously not that good at self-marketing on the community. But, I mean, she's a really nice lady, don't get me wrong. Um, but $100 for a class for one day I just don't see what they expect actors to get that kind of money. Um, we just live in a very peculiar time when it comes to acting uh, construction. I did get a couple of website names actually I like yesterday too. One of them was Mr. Screenwriter and one of them was Mr. Acting Coach. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited about that. I've learned a way uh, on my um, Facebook page, or not my Facebook page, within my GoDaddy website designer. I've learned a way to uh, create pages without having a navigation bar and create from different sites. And that'll help a lot because um, it really helps when you, you know, want to save money if you don't have to do masking of websites. So you can send them to MrMovieStar.com or whatever else. And people always stay on that website, even though it looks, even though it's actually connected. And the main domain is a totally different one. Um, KingsleyMartin.com is my main, but I have five or six of the alternatives <clears throat> for promoting my acting. And then um, 
I think I know ChiefStudios.biz. And I started to work on that when I started to do this pretty good design going on. And then it just got to a place where um, I was trying to do navigation bars. And navigation bars, if you go with the built-in ones that they give you, you could do drop-down menus. But man, it can be so irritating and it can become very complex because in order to not have every page show up on the navigation bar, you have to go in and hide it and then create a name link that then you put into this field. But what happens is if you're on the page and you just use the normal backspace, if you've gone into the second or level, third level of a specific category, it will take you completely out of the entire site or back to the very beginning and you have to go back to the chain again. So I'm trying to find ways of avoiding that because it's very time tedious and annoying and so I want to make it to where it's not that much trouble for people. So I'm going to work on that. So that's something that I'm really going to spend serious time on. I'm trying to do this weekend if I can find the time to do it. Um, we'll see how that works out. But it just depends on time. Um, my weekends or late part of my weeks pass pretty quickly. <laughs> so but there's good things about having. I also decided I'm going to make an app for my studio. Uh, not a lot of acting studios have apps, so I'm going to work on that. Um, I know that also. I looked into. Excuse me, the web page for one of my short films that I have to try and buy the web domain for it. And it's taken. So I'm going to possibly call GoDaddy and see how much they want for that domain. Um, for my scripts, fair is fair. I wanted to buy the domain so I could promote it. But I don't know um, how that's going to work. Uh, I may have to go get Ferris, Ferris Movie, or something like that, or .mov, or .biz, or something, instead of getting the normal .com, because um, it just may not work to get it as .com. .com is the easiest one, so what, you know, that's always the go-to for people, but I may not have a choice. Uh, but it, it'll work out, it's just... I was surprised that Fair is Fair was taken, especially considering Mr. Screenwriter and Mr. Acting Coach were not taken. I would have assumed that people would have already taken have taken those names because, I mean, they're pretty catchy names. You put MR in front of Acting Coach or Screenwriter and there you go. Um, it's, it was surprising to me that a number of names like the acting coach or actingcoach.com that those are available but you have to spend extra money on them because it's like a domain um, company bought up you know noticeable names and that way they can make money off them so they sell them back to people for a higher rate so like for example Normally through GoDaddy, if you were to buy a website for two years, uh, right now it's like eighteen dollars for two years. But if you want to get this one website for a year, for example, the Acting Coach, I think it's like thirty-nine hundred dollars or something. And then I think ActingCoach.com itself was like twenty-seven thousand dollars. <laughs> And that's just for the first year. So <clears throat> there's aspects to it that make it very expensive. Um, it's, it's just about domain, what would you call it? Like domain dealers, essentially. Go and buy websites, and it's their way of making money. I did just think of another website that I need to see if I can go and get. I'm considering using my legal name for 
writing instead of using my uh, stage name just to sort of separate me from them and to create a little bit of a, of a difference. It's a, a weird version of an Alan Smithy because you can figure out who I am if you paid close attention and did research, but just something different. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not, though. So, but building websites with GoDaddy is actually really easy, uh, which is really good for someone like me because of my site limitations. Um, it's really, it's really a, a really good, well-designed sort of um, overall website design. Pretty simple, and straightforward. My biggest complaint is, of course, the menu, the navigation bars that they offer you because they are so uh, picky in the way you design them. And so it makes it hard to uh, actually accomplish uh, accomplish the goal of you know creating drop-down menus if that's what you want. Hover over menus or drop-downs are basically where at the top of the banner, you may see it say home and about us and whatever else. But when you hover over the, the main word, like about us, there's a little drop down, like, it's like a hover menu, and two or three other options will show up below it that you can scroll down to and click on instead of just clicking on the main header. So if in training you wanted to have classes and workshops or private coaching, and you didn't want to have to have people go through training and then find the link for private coaching or whatever else you could have training at the top and then the hover menu would show those three other options and you could just select directly select one of those options but it's a little bit it's a little bit complicated with the way website builder has designed it to do that so I'm not going to go that approach but it's okay because I really like it overall it's one negative among many many positives that it has, so I'm very excited about that. I really need to do more self-promoting myself. There's certain things that you can do to really promote yourself more if you just think about it. Um, I don't really know that this self-marketing class I was mentioning earlier is really gonna know any more information than I would. But you have to put the value into it of, is it going to help you promote? If it wasn't designed, the flyer wasn't designed particularly well. Because it doesn't really tell you the hours that the class is going on. So, if you don't... Uh, the one person actually asked in the comments of it, is this for actors? And, uh... It, really, really, it wasn't really their fault, because I really was... A mistake on their end because it really didn't say things that were for actors like casting and all that and that's uh, that's a part of acting is casting it really wasn't for a crew based thing but the flyer was a lot of self promotion about who the person was and not necessarily as much about what the class contained and the content is I think the most important part, so people know what they're getting for that amount of money. Um, and I know they don't want to give away the farm when they're telling you what the uh, class is all about, but you have to give a very solid idea, I think, of what's going to be contained in it. And uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe it'll sell out. And, They'll do well on it. I know a number of acting coaches, like I've said before, have had a lot of trouble booking classes right now. It's just a market where, for most actors, it's a hobby. It's not a profession. And there's a certain level of investment that some of them just don't want to do. Uh, or they just don't have the resources to do. And so, we'll see what the, how that works out for them. Um, hopefully well.
we were doing a bike. I haven't done the bike consistently in a long time. <laughs> it's not quite as intense, it's much lower impact than the Triton. But it's a different experience. You're always going to be able to switch it up, right? Discovered, I may have mentioned it yesterday that I was surprised at how much Kenny Loggins, um, I, I like Kenny Loggins' work because I don't, I know a number of his songs that he's done, you know, Danger Zone, um, but he's done a lot of really, he did uh, the Winnie the Pooh song, um, but he's done a, no, a footloose, but I didn't realize some of his other, you know, lesser known work that's really good. He's really strong as a, uh, he's really strong as a musician, as a singer. And so, I really like that. I like it when he finds sort of diamonds in the rough. I found this one song that he does called Meet Me Halfway, which uh, is really the inspiration and helped me come up with a really solid sort of idea for the theme of my new script that I'm going to be writing. So, so I really like that. And I'm excited about that. Um, so, that'll be good. And hopefully that will um, be something I have time to spend. Something I have uh, the time to spend effort on this weekend. That's the road I was looking for. I'm planning to go see the new Ben Hur movie tomorrow. And looking forward to that actually. It's got one of my favorite actors, Morgan Freeman, in it. He has an amazing voice and he's got an amazing talent. If you've ever seen Shawshank Redemption, that's probably my favorite Morgan Freeman film. He does such a good job in that film. He and Tim Robbins are just so well cast. And I think it's amazing because there's many cases where the cast of main movies, I don't know about this one particularly, but the cast of, of movies, the people you see are not necessarily the first people that were offered the role. So for example, I don't know if Morgan Freeman was originally offered the role of Red in Shawshank Redemption, or if it was like Denzel Washington or something. Denzel Washington was pretty big back then too. He was up and coming and young. Or if Morgan Freeman was always the first choice. Um, just kind of like, uh, what's his name? Uh, James Earl Jones was not originally supposed to be Darth Vader, the voice of Darth Vader. It just, it just worked out that way. I don't think he originally was the voice of Darth Vader. I think they had to do it because the guy who did the voice originally was just not good. So they needed a strong voice actor, and James Earl Jones came in and, of course, nailed it, the first word. And then you have Tim Robbins, who I don't think was originally supposed to be, um, uh, God, what was his name? I can't remember his character name off the top of my head, but I don't think he was originally supposed to be the main guy in Shawshank, but he did a fantastic job. He stepped up, um, just like Richard Gere did. Richard Gere supposedly wasn't originally offered the role of, of um, Edward Stuckey, or not Edward Stuckey, but Edward Lewis in Pretty Woman. That was originally offered to, I know, at least John Travolta. But it's fascinating when you see what they pull off uh, and how they step up and how really their performance makes the movie so much stronger. And you wonder how different would it have been if they hadn't been there. So. Honestly, I don't have a, a clock on this device, so I don't know how long I talk for. So the cardio walk may be longer than normal today. Um, oopsie. 
<laughs> if you don't like that, because that's just the way it's turning out. Uh, and we'll see, you know, we have to go back to this tomorrow, we'll come back to this tomorrow, uh, but we'll get them done. I kind of like the format, though. I like that it's more of a full screen mode than the normal stand-up mode. Um, it's not realistic to do that from this device. The elliptical is pretty much, uh, or the, the stationary bike that I'm on, is pretty much not designed for that kind of thing. Um, if I stood this up, you can see it's just the ceiling. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have a makeshift lift in the form of my hat, which you're sitting on right now. <laughs> or the phone is at least. I'm also kind of interested in seeing how the sound turns out on this because there's a couple of different dynamics going on. Number one, normally the phone is like this, and the speaker is in the microphone down here, and then the TV adds noise to it. And I don't know how much of my voice is speaking up over the TV, or the TV is um, how much impact it has. I don't really notice it when I was doing that. When I was doing a audio check, I didn't really notice it. So we'll see if it's making a big impact when uh, I go into the editing and upload the video and see how it does. So some fascinating things. I, I, this is going to be getting an interesting little test to see how this works. Live and you learn. That's just the way it is. You know, if I don't get to do this at four in the morning, I have to do it earlier, potentially. Um, then that works because I just need more time to edit. Works for me. So I'm excited. Like, I'm, it's a little difficult, honestly, uh, because I'm not used to it. But sometimes you have to shake things up to understand. I just work more, better with worlds of sleep. In a lot of cases, I like controlled environments. It's safer and better. But it is what it is. Can you tell the uncomfort in my face? Discomfort in my face? <laughs> It's just a little bit confusing. I like how the, because with the bike, I don't really have a speed that's sort of enforced. It's really up to me. It's self-motivating, uh, and it pushes you when the treadmill just kind of pushes you at its own rate. You have to sort of keep up with it. Whereas the bike, you can, your mind can allow you to sort of slip a little bit, especially if you're not looking at a screen and seeing the, distance you've run or, uh, or driven, which I can't tell on these devices. Uh, so I like the treadmill for that reason. That's one of the big things is I like to be able to know that I'm really getting a little cardio moment in. Of course, it's not the primary uh, or the, I'm not, that's not my own way, fitness during the day, but definitely it's one part that I really like to be pushed on while I'm doing it. Because I also feel like that's an encouragement to the people watching when I push myself more. And it's an encouragement for them to push themselves. So, it's a little bit, uh, it's like th self therapy. I'm talking to you, it's like self therapy. What was it I heard Diana uh, Perillo say? She said it was, uh, she said it was vlog therapy. <laughs> so, I guess this is vlog therapy, cardio vlog therapy. Da -da -da. I think we can get in a Mary Webster dictionary for that. Vlog therapy? You think we can get a word in there? What do you think, Diana Perla? We can get a word. Vlog therapy in there? It's a word. It's a compound word, but it's a word. Excuse me. Or maybe it's a phrase. I'm not sure which one you'd call it. Let's see what else.
I wish I had some idea of telling you. We're, we're out of time. I just don't know. I just don't know, unfortunately. I can't tell by the screen. Um, because the screen on the devices doesn't have the time display because of the way it's uh, recording. So I just don't know. I am wearing purple today, but you can probably tell a little bit, obviously. A different shirt for every day, I can't. Not 365 days, but at least rotate between a number of different shirts. Right. Let's see what else. Is it not right? Well, I might be able to fold up the dot on my head right there. I got, hit by, I got hit in the head by a drawer. It attacked me. I was verbally attacked by my drawer. So I took a dump on his porch. That's a line from the Adam Sandler movie, uh, uh, Anchor Management. <laughs> it's a good movie if you get a chance to check it out. It was really funny because I was realizing that I don't really go to the movies. Well, I, don't, I wasn't realizing it's a revelation, but I don't go to movies very often. So. What I don't know though is how often they're selling out anymore. You know, you hear all these things like, well, the movie is sold out and the tickets are gone and get your tickets early and that's why they have Fandango and all that now. So half the time I don't know if I should be buying tickets early or if I can buy them when I go to the theater because they're going to be cheaper um, or if they're going to be available or if you're going to be getting there and it's going to be like a line around the block. I just don't go to movies as often as I used to. It's been like three years since I've really consistently gone to the movies. I used to do some movie reviews. I'm thinking about getting back into that again, too, with like uh, media, the media examiner. I'm thinking about getting back into that. Um, I really liked that experience, and I like the name. In fact, I need to look that one, too, see if I can find that one. Because that would be a fun web address to have. Um, That's pretty much a good term for today. We'll um, call it here, hopefully. It got about 20 minutes. And uh, enjoyed a little change of aspect ratio and uh, approach. Get on a bike, do something a little different. Because I could do the same device all the time. Um, so that's why I want to break it up with like walks and such like that with people. Uh, because doing the same method of exercise and not altering it at all is actually not good for your body. Your body plateaus at a certain point. So you either have to increase the intensity or the speed at which you're doing something and basically vary it up in order for your body not to become uh, complacent and stop putting in enough effort to actually burn calories for you. So the bike is a good change. I haven't ridden a bike in a long time. All right, well, take care of yourself, and I will see you tomorrow, and have a wonderful day. Be well.